Hello and welcome. Uh, today we have uh, something unusual. Um, I went out and picked up a uh, lock from a customer. It is from their old safe. Um, it needs to be serviced and I brought it back to the shop because they were just down the street uh, to service it. Um, so it's a rare treat to be able to work on one of these. So enjoy the ride. Okay, so here we have a very old Diebold lock. The inside is all brass, very thick brass. It's a, it's a cast brass um, or possibly bronze. Not 100% certain, but it is a cast material for the bolt and the gate. Here is the driver. And then here is the wheel pack. This particular lock has four wheels in it. Uh, so let's get this part and uh, tear it down. So I need to clean it. And uh, hopefully uh, they would like the combo change. So hopefully I have a change key that will allow me to do so. But we need to clean it nonetheless. So. All right. So we'll just have a basically a C-clamp that holds the wheel pack together and then here's the first wheel washer, the second wheel. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm looking for anything broken in it. Um, so it appears that, okay. Looks like the key might be broken. Um, so I'll have to double check that once it's cleaned up. So they would like the combo change, but if things are broken in there, then I won't be able to, and I'll just, I can just service it and um, at least get it functioning because currently the when they dial it open they have to f fight with it to get the last number all right there's the next washer and the last wheel here we got some some gunk in this wheel. All right. Let's get this thing. So these wheels 
are extremely thick. Um, just to give you an example. Here is a more modern lock. And you can see, one, how much smaller these are. And this isn't even a very modern lock. Um, and you can see how much thinner these wheels are. And I'm trying to think if I have a modern lock around that I could show you. I think I might. Hang on. Okay, so here we have this lock's wheel. And then, so this lock here is probably from early 1900s. This lock here is most likely from, well, This lock here is probably from the 20s or 30s. And then this lock here is only one wheel um, from a modern uh, style combination lock. So back to the one we're doing. We need to really clean this well. It is very dirty in there. Um, it was a, well, it is a fire safe. Um, so it's full of, well, Either gypsum or asbestos. I'm not taking the fireproofing out to to test it, but the safe is what it is. And to go through so we need to go through and clean all the wear surfaces on this safe So this little post here, corresponds with this post. And when you're dialing the safe open, it will come around and the posts will meet and that's what picks up the next wheel. 
So when you're dialing your combo, you'll leave the first wheel at the number, and then you'll turn the next wheel, turn it back the other direction until it lines the gate up with the correct number. And then the third, same thing. On this one, fourth. And then your drive cam comes around. And then this gate right here falls in when you have the right combination. And then this, your drive cam will pick up the hook and then it'll roll backwards and retract the bolt out of the way. So let's get this thing cleaned up and back together. So this wheel here has been doing a lot of rubbing. You can see how the brass is worn off of it. Okay, well, I'm sorry if I keep getting out of frame. All right, this one is also rubbing. This one here has a a defect in the in the casting. It's got a, a hole in it. 
Um, hopefully that's not gonna, I mean, cause any problems. It shouldn't. It's pretty old, but. Take another washer, and the washer has two posts on it, and the lock body itself, the shaft, has two posts, and that just allows the washer to go in, but it can't spin, so that basically creates a space in between the wheels, and create. but that way the, the washer itself can't um, turn and which potentially could cause a bind issue and make the wheels slip as you went to go back to the next number. So, what this hole is, is if you were want to change the combo, here's the back cover. You can see that hole right there. So when you dial the combo uh, correctly for changing, uh, it depends on what lock to, on what the procedure is, but that hole will line up with this hole and so all the holes would line up all the way to the bottom and then you would take a safe key um, and you would put it through the back cover and it would go through all the wheels and you would turn the key, which would open up all the wheels. You would then dial your new combination. And then remove the key. And then if everything went correctly, uh, then you would have the combination changed. Um, with the age of this, I'm not 100% certain that we will be able to change the combo for them, but we can at least get this thing operational, um, operating correctly um, right now with their current combo. So. This keeper, the C-clip, has a groove wearing in it, um, so the, the wheel pack itself was a little loose. So I'm going to flip this over and see if we can 
use that to tighten the wheel pack up a little bit. Oh, that's absolutely better. Um, so right now we have the wheel pack tighter. Um, it's not so tight that it doesn't move, but it's tight enough that it doesn't flop. Um, you used to be able to pick this up and the whole thing would rattle back and forth. So that's that pretty much clean. Pretty simple, just a lot of old parts. Um, old dirt. And realistically, there shouldn't be any real dirt getting into the lock because it's inside the safe, which is, you know, it, it's protected from the outside. So it shouldn't be getting a lot of dirt in it. But it did have some. Um... So, we'll go through. Make sure it's all clean. Make sure all the wheels pick up. So the way this lock would work is you would dial it to the right uh, five times to the first number, four times to the left to the second number, three times to the right to your third number, and you dial it to the left two times to to your fourth number, and then you would turn it to the right until this gate fell in. get them all lined up correctly. So this would fall in to all those holes, which are the gates. Okay, so that would fall uh, that would be up here while you're dialing. And then you dial the right combo. And then that f this would fall down into all the gates. And then your driver would come down, pick up the hook, and retract your bolt linkage. And then you turn it to... Uh, Throw the, to lock the safe. You turn it backwards to lock the safe and it will throw your bolt back out. So this is a gravity fed. That's why I have to keep pushing it down because it normally would be sitting like this. So that would be open and that would be closed. That's, uh, that's this old lock. Pretty cool. Don't see him very often. Thanks for watching. God bless.